and all kinds of music shall fall down and worship the golden image. Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego were not troubled when they were threatened to be thrown into the fiery furnace because they knew God would deliver them. In fury, rage, in fury and rage, Nebuchadnezzar ordered his men to turn the fiery furnace up seven times hotter. When the men turned the fiery furnace up seven times hotter, which is the number of perfection, they were setting the friends up for themselves, which comes unto the morrow. Treat others the way you want to be treated. His men tied Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego up and were cast into the burning hot fiery furnace. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had no damage done unto them because they worshipped God anyhow. The men that threw the Three Hebrew boys into the fiery furnace. The exceedingly hot fire slew them, and King Nebuchadnezzar was astonished. I enjoyed focusing and writing about this chapter because it taught me a lesson. Worship God in any kind of situation, and He will deliver you. Praise the Lord, saints. Yes. My character is David. He was a man after God's own heart. Yes. And even then, he was at war with the Amalekites and the small land of Ziglag, and took his wives in his possession and burnt down his tents and, and his men. He didn't curse God and complain, he just praised God anyhow. Yes. Praise the Lord, saints. My character is David. He was a man after God's own heart. In St. John 12, verse 7, says, Then said Jesus, Let her alone against the day of my burying, as she kept this. Mary took a pound of ointment, which was very costly, and anointed the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with his hair. Judas criticized Mary, saying, Why wasn't the ointment sold for three, 300 pence and given to the poor? Simon said, You are what manner of woman this is that touches him, for she is a sinner. Some people may criticize you or try and stop you from worshipping God. But they don't understand. They, but they may not understand why you're worshiping God. So I encourage anyone who's feeling down or feels that God isn't hearing your call to worship God. In Second Corinthians 12 verse 9, it says, "My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness." And Paul says, "Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in, in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me." When you're weak. God will bless you and make you strong. So worship God anyhow. Thank you. My verse is um, Daniel chapter 6, verse 10. Now when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went in, into his house, and his windows being opened in his chamber towards Jerusalem, he kneeled upon his knees three times a day and prayed and gave thanks as he did before to I Daniel knew that they, the, counts, the counselors and the princes were trying to stop him, and still he knew that he would be cast into the lion's head, but he still worshipped God anyhow. Um, he let everyone in Babylon see that he was praying, and he also knew that he was right, because later on in the chapter, it tells how the king could not sleep all night, and was asked to be alone. The king, in the morning, came looking for Daniel, and saw that no, no, nothing on his body had been touched. His, Daniel's face was rewarded with riches and protection in the last day. Satan's plan had failed, and, his, and the princes and the counselors which he used um, paid the price because they were shipped into the lion's den. Yeah. So overall, God came, came out on top as he always did. Daniel found his window and used it. We must all dare to be Daniel. Praise the Lord, saints. My character was Daniel. I mean, Stephen. He was a deacon chosen to meet the needs of the widows. He preached about God in a powerful way. And when the high priest had had enough, they covered their ears and cast him out of the city and stoned him. As he was dying, he looked up to the heavens and saw Jesus on the right hand of God and praised God. 
disproved evil, he proved this proved he worshipped God anyhow.